What the hell is the German AI doing? What? Why is it? Why is it choosing to go this route? It looks like he's making love to Croatia. Skedaddle, skadoodle. Hitler's dick is now a noodle. Hey guys, Soy Boy here. Now today's video is going to run very similar to the way a Millennium Dawn game works because finally, a mod that I've been waiting so long for has popped up in the workshop. It's called Chaos AI, and yes, it's identical to the way Millennium Chaos works, so that means no more focus trees dictating how every single game plays out. And that is why I've released all these nations, because they would never have a chance in the base game. I don't really know how this works, but this modder basically saved Millennium Dawn for me, and now I think it's about to save the base game as well. But of course, no one on Earth can save us from this fucking civil war right here. We're starting off with a nice, clean map, no factions. I believe they're gonna form throughout this game though, um, which is gonna be interesting because I think we're gonna see a whole new power faction form up out of very different regions. Also, I'll either be playing Hearts of Iron 3 or March of the Eagles, I'm still not sure yet, pretty soon, so please subscribe so you don't miss it. I'm actually surprised that Italy somehow got to Ethiopia. I wasn't sure if they'd be able to, but I think they still had control over Somalia. So yeah, that, that definitely helped. Well, it looks like France is about to go communist. There's no faction for them to join, but either way, let's just go ahead and make this game even more chaotic. There we go. There's the first war that wasn't caused by a focus tree. And uh, again, I, I should have mentioned, I released all of the British colonies. So they're going to be able to do their own thing. I don't really understand your strategy here, though. I'm pretty sure these guys are going to get messed up. Although British Raj only has five divisions at the moment. Oh yeah, they gotta they gotta work on that. Oh, you know, with the French going communist so soon, that means two people are now helping out Republican Spain. Maybe that's why they're doing a little bit better. Oh god, I'm gonna nut if they win. This is your chance, guys. I finally have a good mod enabled where this faction might be really dominant. They can start declaring wars and maybe taking territory from some of these new neighbors. There's another war due to the Chaos AI. So the French are uh, gonna be pretty scary there in Western Europe. Especially if they just start randomly going after people. Yeah, that former Belgian province has no chance. Um, they lasted like a week. I I'll give them that. How? how? How is this happening? Okay, Germany versus Yugoslavia. No one cares about. Uh, British Raj, why are you losing? Can you guys not? I really don't want those other guys to win because I can't pronounce their name. Wow, okay, it looks like we're going to have a very aggressive Germany. They've already annexed Czechoslovakia and... Uh, same thing for Yugoslavia. Still no factions here yet, but uh, it's only 1938. Uh, who knows what will form up. I've been somewhat trying to keep this a secret, but um, there's the confirmation. Yes, Latin America is going to be better than it's ever been, at least for World War II. I'm pretty confident by the end of this video, we will have seen the best World War II South American game ever. What the hell is the German AI doing? What, why, is it, why is it choosing to go this route? It looks like he's making love to Croatia. Skedaddle, skadoodle. Hitler's dick is now a noodle. Oh, Korea versus Manchuku. Um, I am pretty sure Korea is not going to do well here. Yeah, they only have 12 divisions. I don't know what they're thinking. Either way, this is badass. I, I really like this. There we go. So this is the beginning of World War II, I I'm, I'm assuming. Um, although the French are communists, so I'm not sure what faction they're going to form. Also, will the French be able to 1v1 the Germans? I mean, I guess I seriously doubt it. They probably shouldn't have taking this territory. And Poland will now go after Latvia. I'm assuming they didn't want to be friends, so that's just what the Polish do. Costa, who, who is that? Uh, I don't know who the hell I just released. Oh, it's fascist Costa Rica. Uh, I thought it had something to do with Panama, since in the beginning of the game I gave them back their territory. Oh, Manchuku just joined a faction called the uh, South American Group. Oh, okay, so we're doing that now. The Dominican Republic also joined the South American Group because uh, they're at war with Haiti. So that, uh, yeah, I, I don't see the point of that. You're going to destroy them either way. Look at Yemen go. They're doing pretty well. They took out Oman, and they've got eight divisions. Let's see where they go next. Jesus. Okay, that did not last very long. They're already dead. That was a 1v1, too. France still didn't stand a chance. This war in the East, though, is getting pretty good. It's actually the only war in the East. It's 1939 as well. Even though the Koreans aren't as powerful, they're being supported by the Soviet Union which, again, is, is odd because they're also democratic. Either way, that's making a difference. Okay, so yeah, this, this is just what we're doing. Um, maybe I was slightly wrong. South America might just 
dominate the entire world after this. Next up, we've got Yunnan versus Vietnam, as well as uh, just behind that, we have Nash of Spain versus Portugal. Now it looks like even outside forces are going to get involved with the division of China. And now that I think about it, there's really nothing that's happened so far. Japan hasn't gone after China, and uh, there isn't really a major conflict happening here. Yep, I figured the Swiss were going to die. Also, the world's at 100% world tension. So factions should start becoming a way bigger deal. Bulgaria is now attempting to... Wow, they're doing better than I thought. Uh, they're going after Croatia. I I'm just surprised that they're actually taking land. Oh shit, well the Germans just sent five divisions to go help them. That is what I'm talking about, Sadabad Pack. You guys are making me proud. Daddy is very, very happy. I've dreamed of the day where this faction would just dominate finally. I guess I also miss this. Norway versus Finland. Um, you guys better make sure that... Soviets aren't going to come after you. Italy versus Egypt. How did you even declare that war? You don't have any land next to each other, do you? No, I don't think so. Oh, yes, you do. Oh, okay. Um, I didn't, I didn't see that. Okay, how did the U.S. just take this island? Did he just annex the Dominican Republic? Oh, no, it wasn't. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. How did the U.S. get involved in this whole thing? Maybe I'm just blind. I don't know. We clearly have Costa Rica and the U.S., which, um... I'm, I'm shocked that the U.S. have even lost 3k casualties. So it begins. The greatest faction of all time is finally claiming its its greatness. I, I don't know. Romania joined that shit, though. Again, pretty crazy game. It's not even 1940 yet, guys. We, we still have a while. Mexico just joined the South American group, which means uh, there's going to be a major front in North America now. Also, Kenya, what the hell's going on? That is beautiful. Great job, guys. Poland is now taking advantage of an independent Belarus. Yep, that's going to be a nice chunk of territory for him. Wow, guys. After all that, you pieced out for a single state. I mean, I realize it's highly sought after, but this is kind of ridiculous. Okay, biggest piece deal of the video so far. Romania took two states, Greece took five. Who? Oh, from Croatia. Montenegro and Yugoslavia were liberated, though. Wait, what happened to Bulgaria? And who are you guys at war with? Um, it, okay. The Italians, I, I should have known. This was not the way I expected this video to go, but I, I'll take it either way. Greece joined the Sadabad Pact, as well as Germany joined the South Americans. This is too much. There we go. At least another faction was formed. I was really afraid nothing else was going to pop up. So this is what World War II looks like. Um, safe to say I wasn't really expecting this. <laughs> oh, shit. I love the North American War, though. So it's confirmed. The uh, South American group is basically going to be the axis of this game. And uh, I don't want to spoil anybody, but uh, the UK is not doing too well. Yeah, without their colonies, they are kind of nothing. Adolf's gonna demolish them, I think. Damn, holy crap, why do you have 31 divisions in South America? I'm assuming you're trying to keep Mexico alive, or maybe not. Uh, I don't see any Germans over here. Maybe Hitler just has thousands of people looking for the Fountain of Youth somewhere down here. Oh, yep, yep, can confirm. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. What happened? I, I can't wait to see what happened. I'm assuming this is a democratic uprising? Yes, it is. Wow. And again, the Sadabat Pack continues to get new members as... Finland joins. I don't know how much their skis are going to help, but we'll see. Oh, and that's a big, big blow to the European Association. Brazil is about to mess some stuff up. I was about to say I'm disappointed in East Asia, but uh, yeah, holy shit, just looking at things, this is crazy. Maybe even crazier than it normally is. Hitler and Mussolini now have their sights set on Spain, who control all of Iberia, by the way. Oh, wow, Stalin is at war. I was about to say, the Soviet Union need to start doing something, but they're at war with the, uh, European Association. They haven't formed their own faction yet because there is no communist faction at the moment. I'm hoping that's going to change though. So this is where things are going to start to get a little tricky for Adolf because he's declaring too many wars. Now he's going after Poland, which is not going to be easy. He's now officially in two different fronts. He had pushed Turkey pretty far back where it wasn't. Well, I guess that kind of had an impact. He's technically in three different fronts now. Maybe even four if you want to count the British Isles and Norway. Is Mao really about to die right now? To uh, the Mongol political committee. What the hell is going on in this world? That, well, he probably won't die. I, I bet you they only take like a state or two. Oh, no, I was wrong. I mean, they did take one state, but he's still dead. And I believe, did the Democratic side just win the Civil War? Yes, it did. Which means they're not a part of any faction. They will no longer be helping out the South American group. And now, Democratic Ukraine has decided to help Germany technically, and they're gonna fight Poland. This South American group is literally about to be all of Latin America, or at least close to it, as soon as they take out Colombia. Stalin finally declared a war against Poland, and, uh, well, they better prepare those cheeks. The Indonesian Order. Oh, 
Okay, so I'm guessing the Dutch East Indies went fascist. And the peace treaty for Poland has just ended. Wow, Hitler just got everything. No one else even had a chance. Damn it, Kenya. Man, I was really rooting for you guys. You, you were doing super well. They were by far the strongest power in Africa. There is a uh, communist uprising, though. And here is the fall of the Middle Eastern faction. Germany took 34 states. Italy got, you know, a little bit out of it. I'm assuming that's basically all that happened. Some things were puppeted, though. And just like that, here goes Operation Barbarossa. Should be a little bit easier for the Germans since Ukraine is here, though. They don't really have to worry about a massive front. There's the communist faction. I've been waiting for a while to finally see this form up. There's a lot of African nations that have turned to communism. And of course, Stalin is going to support them. So slowly, everyone's beginning to join that team. It's an interesting color, too. I don't think I've ever seen this faction color before. British Raj is about to take out Laos now. I like to see them, you know, finally do something. I know they're not as powerful as it seems, but they can really have an impact on this region. Wow, the Germans have even pushed past this mountain range right here. I, I think Stalin is just at war with too many people at once. And just look at that unified South American group. That's great. I'm surprised they still haven't gotten rid of these guys completely. Together, they've somehow been able to keep Mexico standing. Uh, I know the Nazis have helped out a little bit. Uh, they've, yeah, they've been sending divisions over. Well, uh, you tried. <laughs> you tried, Stalin. Um, I'm glad that you got involved in this game. I wasn't sure if you were even going to make an appearance, because you kind of weren't doing anything for a while, but um, I guess you probably should have just kept it that way. Hitler is still at war with a lot of different places. Uh, he hasn't technically gone through the peace deal just yet, but he made the Soviets capitulate. And look at that. Even China unified. It might be disgusting. It definitely is disgusting, but nonetheless, they were able to do it without focus tree decisions. Okay, okay, so here's your peace deal. I know you guys get mad why I don't go all the way to the end, but I did it for them, and the AI was not gonna do this. Or at least if they were, it would have taken like three days. That's normally why I stop it. Anyways, Germany just took 105 states. Manchuku took 85. I, I don't, I don't get that. Brazil just became a whole lot more powerful too. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, okay, things don't look that crazy, at least from the new world's perspective. Uh, well, well, yeah, you were puppeted, weren't you? Well, then there's Manchuku. That doesn't make any sense. I don't know how they got all this. I think it's because they're like the original guy that first joined the faction. Anyways, they're the dominant force here for sure. Uh, there's just lingering communist states in the southern hemisphere. Yep, and as I thought, the U.S. is a puppet. Uh, I'm assuming so is Can- No! <laughs> Canada is a puppet to Mexico. Alright, that doesn't seem that bad. I fucking love Taco Tuesday. Anyways, guys, there's the game. This Chaos AI mod is really gonna change the way uh, I, I, I kind of do these videos. This is this is amazing. I, I really, really love this. And I do want to mention, this was only one version of how things can go. My two other tests were completely different. Like, it was nothing like this. I, I kind of prefer them over this one, believe it or not. So we'll check that out in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. And of course, big thanks to Drew Meltzer, Wyon, Dank Meme Dealer 69420, Furry Cruz, Ethan Johnson, Hitler Did Nothing Demonetized, Nick Tang, Matthew Ellis, Kirby, Lavender Sheep, Stormblade, Elfie, Hayden the Exile Brown, Jung Cooks Bay, Elijah Senpai, and finally, Drew, you didn't say my last name.